So, you're probably wondering, what is this video about? Who am I? And what are we here to talk about? What does remember mean? You see, this is an album about honesty, about truth, about self-growth, a journey of pain, happiness, reflection, metamorphosis, and dealing with pain in order to become the best version of yourself. So, where do we start? Honesty. Honesty is where it all began. See, as a music artist, all my music that I ever made was always honest and I always expressed my true self. But over the past years, there's been a lot of experiences like relationships, breakups, and dealing with self-love, dealing with discovering myself and finding my soul. And there's been so much things going on in my mind that express a major change on who I am. And you know, it's like realizing all these things that are wrong with social media, like TikTok. They want you to blend in and be like everybody else. When the truth is, the, the, the best way to live in this world is to be yourself. And when everybody acts like who they truly are, that's how we get a world of happiness. By accepting people unconditionally for who they are. So you see, this is why TikTok, it's a no-no for me. And social media, I've realized so much false things about society. You don't have to act like somebody you're not. And your fantasies, your dreams, they are real. You express those dreams into reality to create a better world. So I got really honest with this album and I asked myself, do I wanna keep making music that I want others to like? Or do I wanna make music and make art that expresses who I really am and share that with the world? Cause that is what the world needs. So I got really honest and it, there was a lot of pain in it. I had to reflect on all this depression I was going through and self doubt. I didn't realize my power. I, honestly, in the most humble way, I'm gonna admit, I have a lot of ability by directing and visioning and creating this music and working hands on all myself. But I still doubted myself and kept looking for love in other places. And you know, this album is very real skin deep and i know you guys are gonna love it had to deal with a lot of self-acceptance and i had to really dive into who i really am as a person and i i kept wishing for the world around me to be better and like i kept watering this plant that would never grow and that's because what i needed to do was change and accept myself for who i am in order to change the world around me you see whatever energy you put out is what you get and I started realizing having pity for this situation and backing down is not the way to go because I have a lot of more power and I was doubting myself for so long. And I had everybody around me telling me, you really need to stand up and you really need to realize your worth. You need to realize your power. Cause I thought, I honestly thought nobody could love me and I thought I wasn't worthy. And you see, when you doubt yourself, it could really reflect into your life. And I already, I had everything on the, table ready all these ideas this album but this depression kept bringing me down and i was like battling back and forth between writing songwriting for this album then like feeling weak and backing down but then i'm like no i have to keep going and throughout this process i was figuring out more and more things about myself and growing as a person growing as a soul and i think every bad experience i had because in reality it wasn't a bad experience it taught me something and made me grow so that's what i'm thankful for since I was younger, I always had like this random connection with Strawberry Fields. And I didn't know anything about John Lennon. When I was actually younger, I just used to come here. I wandered, I, I was a wanderer. I was a, an adventurer when I was younger. Like since I was in fifth grade, I would go wander off and tell my mom I'm going to the park across the street. But in reality, I would be out with my friends traveling far. And even when my friends weren't with me, I would wander off somewhere far downtown in New York City or, you know, to Central Park and I investigated different areas. And when I came to Strawberry Fields, I always felt connected. And I remember I shot a couple of music videos right towards the band shell. And 
I always had like the spiritual connection here and this inspired a lot of my album Remember and the songs on it, the connection that I have here. Growing up I had a lot of people like not understand me or maybe even if they thought they understood me like I just always had this feeling something was different about me or like I couldn't fit in for some reason and I'm like why do I suck so much at being a human and you know over time I realized it wasn't a bad thing it wasn't a bad thing at all to be different in fact that difference I felt rooted from a lot of very special things actually and I'm so proud to be a leader rather than a follower. And that right there is the reason I was different. And that's what I noticed about everybody else who becomes a successful person in life. It's not about fitting in, it's about leading a better way for the world. And you know, what we actually need is new leaders, new role models for the kids. We need a world where power is based on love, not on money, not on controlling people, based on true, the true meaning of freedom. That right there is what this album is about, and that is what I am here to create. I started songwriting when I was about nine years old and I remember I would just sing like little tunes here and there like I'll be like what was that song oh yeah I'm a time traveler time traveler time traveler time traveler Whoa oh well the point is when I was younger when I make when I used to like make a song it would be like a little quick fun tune something catchy and fun but I had no idea where it came from. It's like, it came from out of space or something. Like, you know, it just came from, like, I don't know how it came to me, but it did. And growing up over time, I would use the songwriting through every experience I had in life, whether it was a breakup, whether it was a state of depression, me feeling helpless, me feeling empowered, or me learning something new. Everything that I went through was able <laughs> to create a song to represent that and a song that would mark a chapter in my life every time. And that right there is powerful. Music to connect people is powerful. We gotta, we gotta think about what we're using each thing for. We have an important role here on this earth and it's an ecosystem, so we all have to work together. So you know, I, what I want with this new album and what I've been doing and from what I've learned as a person growing up is to really think about the role you're playing on this planet. Mm -hmm. And I'm using this music to make this planet a better place and bring everyone together. So that's what Remember is about. And I'm using my songwriting that I've had since I was younger and twisting it around to use it for peace, love, and growth. I've been working so hard for months, literally months on this album. And I'm taking a little slow burn effect with it, a lot of patience because I'm learning a lot along the way. I'm taking down notes, I'm writing poetry to this album, I'm constantly writing different ideas to what this album is, what it means to me. And there's so many, yeah, there's some blank pages too, I gotta fill up. But we have so many pages of experience, of growth, and of learning. Creating the first single, Metamorphosis, off this album, 
My mom kept telling me I have to see the Prince movie, and I already knew who Prince was before that. Of course I did, but I didn't know him this in depth, and I, I just started getting into his music prior to seeing this, and my mom suggested I see the CD. So, you know, went over to my stepfather's house, and we, we put in the movie. I watched it, and I fell in love, and, you know, Purple Rain really touched my heart, and it stands as a staple in my life, and... I felt really connected to this movie, Purple Rain by Prince. And I really thank you, Prince. Bless up because you're a major inspiration for what is to come. All I really want for everybody to take from this album is that I gave my possible all. I gave my heart. I gave my truth. I gave my perspective, my thoughts, my fears, my experiences, and I put it all on the table for you guys to see. I put on the good and the bad about myself. I put on everything that I had to go through. I put on everything that I wanted all the children of the future to know. And I, I'm giving everything honest and open and raw to you guys. And no matter how everybody perceives it, all I want you guys to know is that I did it because it makes me happy. And whoever it touches, that's who it's meant to touch. And whoever doesn't hear it, and whoever doesn't like my music, and whoever doesn't understand what I'm talking about, you're just not meant to get it. But I hope you all, all love it, and this is, this is my all, this is my baby, and it's everybody's now. So that's the most I can say. And whatever happens, it's now or never, baby. Gotta take that leap of faith. I've learned so much being here because there's so many different cultures, so many different races, and I had the most funniest experiences. I've always been a rebel, causing trouble when I was younger, honestly. I used to run around the city with my friends, coming home way after the time I was supposed to be home. I'm lucky I have a mom that actually lets me be free and is not too hard on me, but she is always nervous and worried because when it comes to me, I always get into some crazy experiences. And you know, that's what this album is about. It's about all these crazy experiences I've been through my entire life that brought me to a point of realization. And my recklessness taught me so much because it allowed me to see what each situation could bring. And I'm proud of every, the way everything is right now. So yeah, um, I'm a creator and this is, literally me i've always created if there's a blank wall i gotta paint on it if there's a piece of clothing i have to design it if there is a blank page i have to write a song and i have to draw that's my thing to create is to change this world for the better and that's always what i've done and it's always what i will do so yeah you know when i sit here in my room here in the projects upper Manhattan I always envision my future and I know this is not the spot I'm going to remain at and it's, it's, it's beautiful to have enough willpower and bravery to know that this is not where I'm going to remain and every day I wake up and I just can't find the right words for it because I know there's a better life out there for me and I know there's a better world out there for me. And you know, when I wake up here, I always think to myself, this is not permanent. This is the stage of hard work, the stage of learning to become the person I'm meant to be. And you know, I'm always gonna look back at this room and remember how much I've learned here and how much growing up the way I did taught me. And I may not be like any of my classmates I've had, high school freaking hell and it doesn't matter because not being like them taught me my purpose and it taught me my power and where life what is life actually that is the question i know soon i'm gonna be with the right people by my side and i know soon everything is going to be the way i've always pictured it since i was younger but this is it Goodbye to this room. Goodbye to this old life. Hello, California Hollywood. Underneath all this makeup, 
underneath all the laughter and underneath everything that's going on actually i'm literally just a boy trying to find his right crowd his right place in the world and just be in the spot that he knows he's meant to be in and there's been so much emotions inside of me that i just don't know how to express it because i see so much better that this world could be so much better for the youth and there i you know sometimes you don't know where to start because it's like there's a way better way everything could be society the the future of these kids we need to work with the world and better it rather than think close-minded and not help the world out it's not it's not about doing things for yourself it's about doing it for the genuine good of the world and that's probably why a lot of my relationships ended because honestly i see a bigger picture and i want to be i want to be help for everyone i don't want to just do things for myself i want to be a part of the ecosystem a part of the entire collective and world and that's what i do with my music and you know i feel when somebody's holding me back from that then i can't do it Sometimes you got to realize the greater good is what matters and that's what has been creating a lot of emotion in me lately and underneath all of this I'm getting completely stripped down to who I am at the core and you know at this point there's nothing to lose it's now or never giving my all this is it baby remember